Welcome back today. We've got three bases for you guys that can be used in war and in CWL And we even have a fourth secret base link hidden somewhere in this video if you guys can find that But first we're taking a look at the first base here and the attacker is bringing in some dragons with some balloons He already fired off the giant arrow from the top side of the base and then we've already gotten this spiky ball from the barbarian king as well So the heroes have done pretty much all that they're gonna be able to do for now the king does help finish off the eagle artillery. We got ice golems coming out of the clan castle. Pops the warden's ability. We got a clone on the right side for some balloons. And then another clone for the blimp balloons, which that blimp was not quite able to make it all the way to the town hall like the attacker had expected it to. So the town hall stays standing for now. We do have the enemy queen popping off down there as well. She's taking out these dragon riders. She already took down one. Another one's about to go down as well. So she got quite a bit of value before the dragons move in to take her out. So obviously the king and the queen are down we got a few dragons on the top side but not a lot freeze for the town hall still trying to get it down finally able to get it taken care of but because the blimp wasn't able to take that out earlier on now we got the poison to deal with and we still have the back end royal champion the back end air defense for these dragons to try to work through down goes the last dragon rider that dragon on the top side goes down so will the warden and the angry jelly we're going to speed it up just a little bit but these dragons are going to struggle on this last part of the base that air defense and the RC are going to be too much to get through, and that is going to be a nice defense on the first base. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, if you do want to give these bases a try, of course, the links are down in the description below, but something you're going to want to pay attention to as we do watch through some of these replays are what are the defenders using in the defensive clan castle? What troops do they have in there? For example, the last base was triple ice golem, and that might be the same for most of them, but that's not always going to be the case. So uh, it is going to be something that you will want to take note of. This one is going to be a queen charge Lalo, and we do have the angry jelly on the queen. So this is going to be shaping up to be a decent little queen charge here, at least it's looking like it so far a little bit of a spicy one as well that queen taking quite a bit of damage early on and those healers are struggling but he drops in the invis he's able to identify that once again we do have the triple ice golem cc so that is something to take note of that's probably going to be one of the better options for this particular base queen's still trying to get through she's stuck on the ice golems for a little bit and the angry jelly has worn off we got the royal champion from the bottom side of the base the barbarian king trying to get the eagle artillery on the top side of the base but he's not quite able to he goes down to phoenix and he's distracted by the enemy queen so that eagle artillery actually able to stay alive up there and that's going to be huge for this defense going forward we do have the grand warden coming in he accidentally put his grand warden in on ground mode so he gets that ward ability popped nice and early which was intended for the blimp to get all the way in and the blimp does secure the town hall but now we don't have much more warden support for the balloons moving through the warden's only going to be alive a little bit longer these ground expos once he moves in will be able to target him and take him down but so far he's actually surprisingly still staying alive but the balloons pushing through towards the back end they actually skipped a bunch of defenses on that bottom left side as well so the pathing there was not really good for the attacker, but it was great for the defender. We still have a bunch of balloons moving into the backside of the base. That eagle artillery that the Barbarian King was not able to take down is still firing away at the uh, Royal Champion. And let's see how much further they can push through. The Queen Charge still looking nice, but does finally go down in the core of the base, leaving up some key defenses down there still to deal with. Down goes the eagle artillery, but these balloons are thinning out not very many left in that multi archer tower monolith combo are going to be able to hold the line for another great defense let's go ahead and move on to base number three and here we go with today's third and final base for this video and something else you want to keep in mind as well is you want to know your defenses you don't want to just throw a base on and leave it at that watch your replays figure out what armies your base best defense against and if you can do a little bit of research, especially if you're in competitive matches, find out a little bit about your opponent, or even if you're in just a regular war, you can kind of take a peek at what your opponents have cooked up in their army camps. That's probably their favorite army strategy, and you can kind of plan accordingly. Make sure you put on a base that is going to be able to defend against those specific strategies, because obviously root riders are super popular, but we also have players who really like Lala. We got players who like dragons. We do have some variety in the meta, so those are some things to keep in mind to help yourself get some more defenses. Now, this is going to be another Lalo attack here from Underworld X, one of the pretty good teams on the in the current meta here. 
and it's not looking like it's a great start for the hero charge popping the queen's ability fairly early he's already used the barbarian king as well so whatever he's trying to do with these heroes it is not quite working out that tornado trap on the right side of the base spinning the queen around she goes down and the town hall survives we also have at least one ice golem surviving on the defense of clan castle so again it looks like today's bases are all ice golems so ice golems are definitely a heavy favorite in the current meta they have been for a long time because it's hard to really go against the ice golems for most clan castles you could take poison spells and pretty much negate the cc but when it comes to ice golems even if you poison them they're still going to do their job which is take time off the clock and there we go we do get the blimp in he did switch the switch to the blimp for plan b to get the town hall knocked down and we got the balloons floating in around the left side of the base trying to push them in trickling them in along the outsides but it looks like we will have a big group on the outside and then some moving through the core of the base that eagle artillery is still up and firing away and i'm not sure that it's going to be going down anytime soon we got that last ice golem still moving around as well that multi-archer tower we've already seen them do a lot of work on defense and it looks like we're going to get to see it again here as the minions try to move in the balloons are dropping and there we go that multi-archer tower now going to start working on the cleanup troops start working on the grand warden and this is going to be a nice defense as that scatter shot and the eagle artillery finish off the last few balloons no cleanup left except for a few minions on the left side but the eagle is going to be able to reach all of it it looks like we do have a few cleanup troops on the bottom side but obviously not going to be enough here for the triple and another nice defense and that's gonna do it for today's videos if you guys do use these bases let us know how they do for you down in the comments below and if you have any other questions about these bases also feel free to ask in the comments thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next one